remember just opening my mission call. I was really shocked and I could barely breathe. It was, it was a really strange feeling. Um, my dad is Vietnamese and I was shocked because I would be learning Vietnamese and I'd be able to talk with him and I thought that was really cool. Um, and he started helping me with Vietnamese and that was good. Uh, but I think besides the language, I think the thing that helped me the most for entering the MTC was devoting time every day to study and building daily habits, like waking up on time every day and not pressing the snooze button. One thing that helped me was communicating with my friends who are currently serving missions. I had one friend who was also called Vietnamese speaking, but to a different mission. He served in California. And he wrote me that when I started my mission, I shouldn't ever feel disappointed with how slow the progress is or how incapable I feel about my missionary skills because that doesn't help invite the spirit that I should just really focus on God's expectations. Um, and that's something that I remembered a lot, especially as I was just entering the MTC or just barely starting my mission is that I expected a lot of myself, but when I remembered that God was helping me, that um, his expectations were sometimes different than mine, then I found it was easier to grow and to learn new things. I grew up in a household where my father was Vietnamese and it was always a part of me, but it was never really a conscious part of me. Before my mission, I felt more American than anything else, just American. But one thing I was really grateful for uh, from my mission is that I was able to get in touch with these roots and understand what my heritage actually was and it's something that I'm really proud of. And now I'm more likely to tell someone that I'm Vietnamese and that I'm American even though I only lived in Vietnam for two years. Just something that kind of becomes a part of you.